This segment of Concrete Coliseum is sponsored by the law office of Michael T. Ridge. When you are injured, the right lawyer can make all the difference. Game one. Cold? No, no. Fuck game oh. one. <laughs> I'm not even going well, I don't even want to do re game recaps. I want to get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> Concrete Coliseum. Day one. Recap. It was... It was an eventful day, man. All right. I'm looking forward to this whole season because there's a lot of loaded teams. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, a, no, there's, there's a no lot of, weak teams. There's a lot of talent this year that came out. There's one shy team right now because I don't see much. Yeah. But other than that, everything else is looking fantastic. Yeah, and the turnout, there was more people out there than I anticipated being out there. It was a good uh, good crowd. Bring Definitely the kids out. Crowd. Bring the family yeah, bring out, everybody Enjoy out. some good basketball. This is great. Um, great atmosphere for that. Yeah, let's get straight into it, man. Game one. Cold? No, no. Fuck game oh. one. <laughs> I'm not even going well, I don't even want to do re game recaps. I want to get straight to it. Cone work. Who was outside treating people like cones this week? I got two people. Go for it. The first person I got on my list, Yone. From hard work beats talent. <laughs> Son was out there doing the Lord's work. Bro. God damn. Oh, oh, that shit lucky too, right? Hell, 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 hell. He the only person that cracked 20. He the only person. He had like 20, I think like 26 or 27. He was the only person that cracked 20. To, fuck that. He was doing everything he wanted with yeah. the basketball. Some, he's an offensive like weapon. Antoine. Oh, yeah, that's that's my second. Yeah, he was, it was cone work. <laughs> he had a triple-double. Easy. Triple-double, light. light work against the yeah. team. The team that young went ones. to the finals last year, the young ones, surprising. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think it would be, but like, they, they, they worked a master class on them young boys. And I've been saying it for a while now. I got him number one in the hood right now. I think he's the best player in the hood right now. Top duo on every team that we have. I, I'm gonna just start have. with the greatest duo right now. For for day one, the greatest duo for day one, easily Antoine and Calvo. I don't have them as like the best duo for day nah, one. Nah, I got them day one to nah. for for the for day one, yes. Nah, best duo in they, my they opinion. They made it look light. Donnie and Josh. They they can put in work easy. From yeah, yeah. high post all the way down to the low post. That's funny. I got well two things. Josh is out for the season, uh, broke his wrist, broke his hand literally hours <laughs> after the game. Crazy. He's done. But, I wish you a speedy recovery, brother. Yeah. But I got, um, I got Donnie and Jonathan, man. Bryce had a hell of a game, but I got Jonathan. Jonathan, I'm used to him being just a scorer. He's, he's always been a scorer. But to see him be a playmaker, he, that, I knew he came... With a chip on his shoulder to the tournament, cause he was not he was on some on some shit the whole game. I was like, oh okay, he really want this game. Rico and Young. Yeah, but, that's my duo for that team too. But Rico had a shaky game. Yeah. He needs to it's, step it's up. It's day one. He had a bad he had a bad one. Um nah, but last year he put in work. So yeah. I, I he, he put proved on himself. A show last period. Year. Yeah. He put on a show last so year. I know that one game we're not gonna count I'm yeah. not gonna count him out. So true creators. I have Marlon uh -huh. and my guy Johan. Mm, Joe. I, Johan had a shaky first game, yeah, yeah. but if he steps up, the yo, we got a special guest, Marlon and okay. Johan. Okay. Marlon, I've seen him ball in other tournaments, and he can shoot. He can go to the basket. He's a very, very smart player, and he's one of my favorites. He plays with IQ. Yeah. And he plays physical, so yeah, I like yeah, him. Yeah. Johan, I love, I love playing with him on the court because he's able to pass and he's able to shoot. He makes smart decisions. All he needs to do is just bring it all together. He had a shaky first game, but as long as he brings it together, he's good. So when you're on the court with him, are you Batman or Robin? Oh, I'm Batman for sure. He just passing me the rock and I'm scoring. I just got a bad toe right now. But great, other than that, great we, way to we make it about it yourself. <laughs> True creators, I got uh, I got Marlon, of course, mm -hmm. and G. Uh, I think G is a veteran point guard. He just knows what to do. Um, to make other guys' jobs easier. It's literally him finding the balance and knowing when when it's time to score and when it's time to make things happen for other people. Yeah. But I, I got I got Marlon and G as my duo for that team. G G has a lot of emotion to him. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, for sure. Whenever he gets a, a little emotional, he gets out of his character when it comes to playing. Yeah. But 
he he can ball. I'm never he, taking that away. Talent, yeah. Od uh, for, for that the team. Heat, I have uh, Ace. Okay. And Dre. Mm. As number thirty-five. But who did I? Oh, okay. Ace. I, Ace reminds me of like a smart kind of player where he can literally do everything on the floor, and he hustles. I'm trying to think. My man dove on concrete. Ace is a winner. You know what I mean? Like that's that's one thing about Ace. This, you got I, mind you, I've known Ace since like 11, 10, 11 years old when he was a chubby dude. This man is he's worked his ass off, brolic and shit, works on his game consistently. Mm -hmm. uh, I got Ace and I believe son name is Ticey. And yeah. I like him and they they both do a lot of work without the ball, and when they have the ball in their hand, mm -hmm. they are effective and useful to their teammates. I like the both of them. I like the fact that, and this is just for the whole tournament, everybody plays defense. Yeah, er yeah. Everybody, everybody play, plays everybody defense. Play, it's concrete coliseum, we are gladiators. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? One of one, who you got? Uh, one of one, AKA Bailey Park. I got Tay and mm -hmm. Cam. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was Tay. I think number forty. For yeah, sure. he uh, was. We, we definitely have the same too. He was knocking them down crazy. Like I feel like he can spread the flow out very, very well. Cam has an all-around game. Have, I've never seen Tay, and I've never seen uh, Cam, so I don't even know where they're from. Both of them put on a show. Yeah, they was both balling. I'm looking forward to that to the to the whole season with them. And then lastly, oh no, sorry, we got two more. We but, got two more. Uh, uh, young ones. Young ones. I mean, I think everybody has the same two. It's got to be Maya, Jeremiah, and Jonah, right? Yeah. The two brothers. They they're tough to deal with. Mm -hmm. They had a they had a rough day one, but they are too tough to like too tough brothers for real. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then lastly, and concrete, concrete comments. comments. I have my son Chris Austin. I got Marvin. I like the other guy. I, forgot, I don't remember Zay. what name. What no no no. Yeah, Zay is the big guy. Yeah. He had a bad showing, but... I see the potential. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? But I definitely have Chris, and I like the way Marvin looked. I, I think he... um. And that's from you knowing him. I, no, I don't even know Marvin. I know Chris. Chris is... Okay. He's legit. Uh, I don't know Marvin, but I like the way... I seen the potential because I'm like, all right, he... Uh, I know... When everything start clicking, he gonna be more effective for them. Yeah, I have Zay in question mark because I don't know anybody from that team, and it didn't look like for me. Nobody else stepped up to the plate when it came to that game. Um, it was just kind of like everybody kind of scrapping and kind of yeah. like figuring it out. I felt bad for Zay because he was the only physical one there, and he went. He was like one. He was like o for layup. Yo, but the fact he was hustling for he it, was. though. He, he was going. He hard. would grab his own rebound he after every hard. miss. I was cool with that. But that shit looked crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I felt for, I felt for Sun because he was working his ass off. I felt. So moving on to the next segment and that now. Damn shame. <laughs> this segment is called Damn Shame. Right? I'm, I, damn shame is going. We're gonna have individuals here most of the time. Today we are going to just put a whole team in the damn shame bracket. Right? Damn shame goes to Concrete Comics. Yeah. And it's just they didn't have their full team. And uh, after, like, the first 10 minutes, Heat started walking all over them, and it was a damn shame. X Factor. X Factor I, and the I, unsung heroes. I love the fact that uh, every single one of these players on my list spark it up at any point in time. Yeah, I feel the same. I, I feel like uh, I feel the players I have on my list for each team are, yeah, they, they really... Uh, they're game changers on any... T they could be game changers on any team, too. Yep. So, hard work beats talent. I have Rico. Um, yeah, obviously I, got, we, I got Rico as well. He, we, sh we saw what he did last year, so there's not many words that we can say. He can shoot. He hustles for his own rebound, off his own jump shot. He plays defense. Yeah, it is like, hard to guard somebody that's just don't stop crafty, moving. <laughs> doesn't stop moving. He's moving forward at all times. You yep. know what I mean? Like, there's not much side to side from him. And he does everything. Like he's mm -hmm. not a lazy basketball player that relies on just shooting or getting to the like he does everything. Yeah. So it's like he's tough. I got him as my X Factor for that team as well. And then for uh Legends Loading, I have the twins. 
Ooh, both of them okay. combined together. Okay. Because I, I didn't realize <laughs> the, at one the point that the they twins. were twins. Yeah. I had no idea that they were twins another at one group, point. Another group of kids that grew up running with us. When I mean, they still young. They in college. You know what I mean? Oh, like, nice. And they was running. They was running with us for years. Yeah. That's nice. I, well, I got a different uh, X factor for that team. I got Kev, the point guard. Now Kev is my guard, and I've. I won a chip with him when he was 12 years old. God damn. I was, we was playing 14 and under, and he, he might have been younger than that. He might have been 11, because, you know, I was 13, so he had to be like 11. And we won, a, we won a chip and 14 and under together. Kev is my favorite point guard to play with ever in any tournament. We've, we've never lost a chip together. This kid does everything, and he plays. You can't speed him up. He's under control. He understands... Uh, how to make the game easier for any and everybody. High IQ. Yeah, yeah, great general, great floor general. Like, perfect player to have on your team. All right. Now, for the young ones, I have Zed. Mmm. Zed, yo, yeah, Zed got to show up because he's special, but day one didn't look good for him. I got someone different, though. Go for it. I got Joaquin. Yeah, I mean, I, but all Joaquin he has to do is just turn the switch. a hell of a season yeah. last year. All he got to do is just turn the switch on. I think uh, I think Joaquin is special. They you know they just had a rough day, um, you know they got they got to bounce back. But I got I got Joaquin in there. Zed has a jump shot that can live for days. All he needs to do is just get a little bit more confident and see the ball go through the basket, and I think it'll be lights out for him. It's tough though because he's offensively gifted, but a liability on defense, man. I agree. I definitely agree. They, on that. They, the great thing I seen uh, uh, Legends Loden do was attack him immediately. Oh, yeah. When he got in the game, immediately. I wish I had them yeah, mic'd JoJo up. Yeah, JoJo was going crazy. I wish I had them mic'd up. Well, I was recording at one point on the on the baseline, and as soon as Zed came in, um, Calvo said, we're attacking him. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, God. They picked on him. Yeah, yeah, they all day. They picked on him. All day. So for one of one. One of one. I got Eddie. Same. Yeah, I got Eddie. Eddie's um, shit. I got to work with Eddie for years. Uh, he's the worst head case in the world, but that boy's talented. I agree. Skill set, uh, and he got he plays with an attitude. I like I like kids that play basketball with an attitude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so I got Eddie as the X factor. Yeah, he um, can he can switch the game up whenever he feels like it. He's like, a big guard too. You yeah. know what I mean? He's like six four, six five. He's a he, big guard. If he got a little bit more aggressive in it. Into it, then he's he has the ability to put the ball on the floor, shoot, and create for others. Yeah. Because he draws that attention into him. Yeah. But he needs to realize that. Yeah, for sure. He for needs sure. to realize that. Uh, for Orange, for Concrete Comments. Concrete Comments, Zay. He needs a little more help, but uh, if if half of those attempts that he was working his ass off for go down, that's a different game, right? So mm-hmm. like, and it's day one, so I get it. Like day one. You getting the jitters out and shit like that, but um, yeah, I got Zay. Yeah. Okay, uh, I need them to figure it out so that I can figure out who's my X factor. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Fair uh, enough. True creators. True creators. I'll let you think on that. I have Johan. Johan, if he can step up to the plate, like I said before, he has the ability to shoot the basketball. He uh-huh. has the ability to pass the ball, uh-huh. and he plays defense. For me, he has an all-around game, and if he were to t- if he were to just wake one of those things up yeah. and he sees the ball go into the basket, now he can create for others on a much more easier pace. Well, this is, this is I got him too. He, this is his opportunity to show he's Mr. Goofy Park. <laughs> he, this is his opportunity. Like, uh, I believe he, he is the X Factor on that team as well. I, I think, um, you know, he had a rough showing, um, but potential through the roof, he could show... Either he's Mr. Goofy Park, or you're gonna have to step aside and let me be master of all parks. This <laughs> is one or the other. Someone come at this man, please. Could never happen. Y'all know what's up. Uh, who we missing? I have. Oh, there's one more. People's Park. There's no X factor for that team, bro. That's a complete team. Absolutely. Anybody on that team could get it going at any fucking moment. Bryce, but for me, it's a complete team. Yes, but. The yeah. little thing yeah, that this Ill. guy Wesley, does. Wesley is fucking nice. Everybody that, on that, that team. team that, and they play Everybody. for each other. That's why it's like there's nothing you could do with them because they play for each other. Irv, 
is a he's a, a general. He, he's a brilliant mind. Like he just yeah. understood who to put together. Yep. I'm, like honestly, Jiggy got <laughs> shit going as yeah. soon as he stepped in. Jiggy, he had he knocked down all. three automatic. Yep. Uh, Bryce, he doesn't need the ball to score. He would. Get the ball. He would tip the ball in whenever the ball went up. He would play defense. Yep. Obviously, you have Wes, who can create for others as well as create for himself. He's tough. Everybody on that team, honestly, from top down, top all the way down. To Damn the bottom. shame about Josh, but with the rest of the team playing the way they was playing, they still they still the champs, yo. You yeah, got, they got to be defeated first. Yep, for sure. Oh, we missing one team, the Heat. RJ, you got RJ. RJ, seen it? Yeah, yeah, watching RJ, him last year. Yeah, RJ. He's a he yeah. He was quiet this. He was quiet today. I mean quiet. I mean they uh, were they were smoking on the other team, so he was just like he was just chilling. He was yeah. reserved. I got I Homie got took a um, nap. Yeah, I got Curry. I got Don as uh Adonis yep. as my X Factor because I seen that boy go from walking in the game to halftime twenty something points. Mm. So it's just like he's another one that any given moment he could really just go crazy. Okay. So I got him as a as X factor for that team. All right. So week two approaching us yeah, very yeah, very shortly. Got... Saturday game to look forward to. We'll be what back. You got? With, oh my! I got for Saturday my game of the day is going to be hard work beats talent versus legends loaded. Two smart teams. That, I like that's that. the team. I, the two physical teams. I, I got the Heat and the Young Ones just because I feel like the mm. Heat is walking in with a chip just okay. to show people that, yo, last year was a little bit of a mishap, but now we hit. We have our team now. And on Sunday, day three, I got the Heat versus one of one. That's going to be a good, that's going to be a real good game. A lot of them know each other, so I'm excited they, to yeah, see that. They're going to they gonna compete. For real, against each other. So mm-hmm. I'm looking I got, forward to that. I got the young ones in People's Park. Now that Josh oh, is not okay, going to be okay. in the mix, that's going it, it, yeah, to it changes things yeah, up now. It definitely does because Josh was a huge defining factor in beating them in the chip. Let's think about it like this, right? There was one game last year that People's Park were down. Mm-hmm. Josh walks Walked into the, in the game. game. And they come back and win. That was against Hard Work Beast Talent. Walked in and shut they were, shit They were down. down. They were down. Damn near double digits. 15, I believe. Yeah. And fucking Josh walks in the park late. And wins. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. He, but he got that type of game that'll change shit. Like, so, yeah. Hell yeah. That's going to be a good one. So. Yeah. So, we got good games Saturday and Sunday. Make sure y'all tune in and come outside. Peace. Avoid the drama, I don't want no problems, I provide the karma Casualties of war, ain't no rules, they'll approach your mama You got me, then I got you, that's my show of honor New school, same class, the block is still my alma mater We loading up, you know what's up, they coming for our spots then We running up in yours and we gon' hold it up Cheers to those of us out here growing up, I still spill something